In this tutorial, we will show how to simulate a bifacial system in PVSYST. We will present the basic steps to activate the bifacial model in PVSYST. For this tutorial, we will start with the project Demo Utility Maroc and use the variant VC4. The variant VC4 uses the unlimited sheds orientation. This is a simplified representation of fixed tilt rows which allows to calculate the mutual rows shading without the need of detailed 3D models of the PV installation. This simplified 2D model approximates well large and regular row based systems. It neglects edge effects at the side extremities of all rows and behind the last row. Click on OK to come back to the project dashboard. Next we will open the system window. In this variant, the PV system already uses a bifacial module. You will notice the button Bifacial System that appears just above the Open button. It is only visible if a bifacial PV module has been selected. Click on the button Bifacial System. This opens a new dialog containing the general parameters describing the bifacial model. In this new dialog, you first have to choose between two model options one for fixed tilt systems and one for tracking systems. Since we have chosen fixed tilt orientation, we will use the model Unlimited Sheds 2D model. The module is called Unlimited Sheds because like the orientation chosen previously, it is based on the simplified representation of the fixed tilt rows. Before going through the parameters that can be defined in this tab, we will have to look at the tab that shows the geometrical properties of the bifacial 2D model. You can see that the parameter that were defined in the unlimited sheds model in the orientation window have been imported automatically. You may change these orientation parameters here, but this will not affect the simulation. This tab is mainly designed for educational purposes to help understand the various situations that can be modeled only in this area. The orientation window or 3D scene parameter will always be the ones used in the end at the simulation step. In addition, you will find two new parameters. Their values are predefined by default. This is an exception to the tab being only for educational purposes. The modification to these two parameters will end up affecting the simulation. First is the value for the height above ground. This is the distance between the ground and the bottom of the PV tables. Increasing this height may allow for more reflected light from the ground. And the value for the ground albedo. Please check if this value corresponds to your system. Note that this albedo characterizes the ground directly below the modules. This is different from the albedo parameter found in the project settings, which characterizes the ground around the PV plant. You can find typical albedo coefficients value in the help for different types of ground. The bottom part of the window is for the information purposes only. You can see various estimates relevant for the bifacial model and different useful graphs. We will discuss this in more details later in this tutorial. Now we will go back to the tab General Simulation Parameters and have a look at the remaining parameters that can be edited here. You will notice that here it is possible to define the albedo as monthly values. After checking this box, you can enter monthly values for the albedo the yearly averages is shown in the albedo field. Let us now define the remaining general parameters. These three parameters are there to illustrate the behavior of the model and you cannot modify them. This factor measures the amount of light that passes through a PV array to then reach the ground, thus increasing the ground irradiance. This parameter is usually nil, except whenever there is a space between neighboring tables, modules or cells. This factor characterizes any obstacle between the ground and the sensitive rear side. In case you do not have any tools to calculate the value precisely, you can leave the default one. This parameter defines a mismatch loss due to the inhomogeneous irradiance at the rear side of the bifacial modules. As of PVSYST version 7, there is no model or well-established value to propose for this parameter yet. The default value of 10% is a rough approximation that was validated in a few comparison studies. This is the ratio of the rear side STC efficiency with respect to the front side STC efficiency. 
it is not possible to modify it here because it's a specification of the PV module in the pan file. Once the model and general parameters have been chosen, it is possible to run a simulation for the bifacial PV system. So far, we have shown how to set up the bifacial fixed tilt system. Next, we will do the same procedure for a horizontal axis tracking system.